All right, so I'm sitting here watching some college football, and we just got some breaking Buffalo Bills news. Obviously, you know I'm going to come live. I'm going to give you guys news. So let's start this off the right way, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe, and welcome to this breaking news edition of Believer's Talk. Unfortunately, not good news for the Buffalo Bills, who are getting ready today to travel to Arizona um, to Play the Arizona Cardinals tomorrow, obviously tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Guys, join me right here on Believer's Talk as we well give you live play of play and reaction. But as the Buffalo Bills are getting ready to travel, obviously they have one more test. They took the test yesterday. This is going to be rough for our corner, says Dread Ocean. Yes. So the news is that Josh Norman has tested positive. Uh, more than likely, as it's on Twitter, uh, Matt Perino, I believe, just tweeted, tweeted it. More than likely a rapid test. Uh, but Josh Norman has tested positive and per NFL protocol, but at least Trey wasn't wasn't one of them. Yeah, I agree, Trey Ocean. At least Trey, that was actually one of my first concerns because I thought that the cornerback room was all together. Uh, yeah. Hey, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is insane. This is part of the season, guys. This is absolutely what we had to be scared of happening uh, as this news breaks. Josh Norman does test positive, which means that anyone who is with Josh Norman over these past few days has to stay home, too. That includes one of our, I think it's our defensive cornerback coach. He's staying home. Tyler Croft, he is going to stay home. And Levi Wallace is going to stay home and a few others. So just when you thought this cornerback room was healthy just when you thought we had full depth at the cornerback position then this happens and all of a sudden the Buffalo Bills are going to be short-handed come uh tomorrow for that in that cornerback room and it's not a good matchup for you to be short-handed at the cornerback position I mean talk about Kyler Murray DeAndre Hopkins that connection again hey Ronald glad to see you in the chat room again glad that Trey White wasn't part of this group obviously uh but still a, a not ideal situation for the Buffalo Bills as Josh Norman tests positive and that means anyone in contact with Josh Norman over the past few days has to stay home as well part of the uh, protocol Croft Wallace Dean Marlowe is another name yeah King Cam hey Matt Cap glad to see you in here so just a few names now the Bills did activate some players off the practice squad including Dane Jackson he's going to make the trip uh, for the Buffalo Bills you have some special teamers that are going to make this trip as well so they did activate some players off of uh, off of the IR. Hey, Daniel, glad that you're in the chat. But the Buffalo Bills, uh, unfortunately, will not be uh, fully equipped to go against the Arizona Cardinals. You know, you had to worry about some of the injuries from yesterday. Taewon Jones is inactive for this game. He's going to be out injured for this game. Now, good news is we do get Mitch Morse back. He was a full participant in practice this week. So some injuries, uh, you know, it looked like the Bills are getting healthier and healthier, which is good going into a bye week after this game. So there will be time to get healthy. Get everyone on board. Hey, Dane Watson. Hey, Brian. Uh, nothing good right now, man. Uh, the Buffalo Bills not having good news. I mean, this isn't devastating news. Again, it could have been a lot worse. You could have Trey White or someone like that not making the trip for the game between the Buffalo Bills and the Arizona Cardinals. But you can't you can't deny the fact that Josh Norman and Levi Wallace uh, weren't going to have a big game or potentially have a big game. We talk about Larry Fitzgerald and the type of game that he might have against this Buffalo Bills secondary. I just don't know uh, how Dane Jackson, how they will do. Uh, against him. At least the bye is next week and everyone can get out. Yeah, absolutely. At least the bye is next week so we can get everything strained out, everything figured out, and then uh, hopefully by the game against the Chargers, we're again ready to go. So uh, obviously there is time. there are players, Teron Johnson, Dane Jackson, they need to step up now, right? Next player up mentality. That's what Coach McDermott's going to talk about. That's what this team should be talking about. It's next man up. That's why you have players on the practice squad. That's why they've expanded the practice squad for this season just for this reason in case something were to go down so something did go down now so we'll have to take care uh buffalo prob is probably winded are they the only team without a buy so far no there's a few teams without a buy so far uh buffalo is going to be one of four teams to take by next week i do believe 
that next week is the, next, the last week for the buys. Uh, Josh Norman, uh, to answer your question, Scott Blakely, Josh Norman is the one to test positive. So we'll probably be without him for the, I mean, we will be without him for this game. Luckily, again, we have the bye week. So hopefully by the Chargers game, he's ready to go. However, he was in close contact with Levi Wallace, Dean Marlowe, and Tyler Croft. Just the name of the few of the players that he was in close contact with. The Buffalo Bills will be without their defensive cornerback coach. Now, the good news about the cornerback coach is he can telecommunicate into other coaches and say, hey, this is what I want you to say. Or he could even talk to the players themselves through those phones on the sideline. So he can still be a part of this game. So missing an assistant coach isn't as severe as missing these players. Again, this talks about the lack of depth now at the cornerback position for the Buffalo Bills. They did bring some people on from practice squad, but it's going to be a different feeling tomorrow. Again, hopefully the Buffalo Bills, you don't see too much uh, <clears throat> lack of production at that cornerback too position. I think Larry Larry uh, Fitzgerald is definitely now in and on pace to have a big day tomorrow. It's just a matter of, as someone said earlier in the chat, outscoring this team uh, now that we found out the news about both or the players for the Buffalo Bills. How about Josh Norman, Testin Positive, Levi Wallace, Tyler Croft, and I believe Dean Marlowe all in close proximity to him. So they all stayed home, part of the NFL protocol. So that's the news here. Uh, again, Buffalo Bills have a few players who uh, won't be making the trip to Arizona. But I look forward to calling that game for you tomorrow. The game between the Buffalo Bills and the Arizona Cardinals starts at 425. Probably go live at 4 o'clock to get ready for that game. Maybe I'll, I'll be uh, talking about the ends of, end of some of these 1 o'clock games. Might have some exciting endings during these 1 o'clock games. But then get ready for that four o'clock game. So again, thank you guys for joining me for this breaking news edition of Believer's Talk. Josh Norman, among others, out tomorrow for the game between the Buffalo Bills and the Arizona Cardinals. Josh Norman tests positive and other players in close proximity to him have to stay home. Uh, so that's unfortunate news. But again, we've had we've had to deal with no Josh Norman before. The fact that we don't have Josh Norman or Levi Wallace now is going to be a bad uh, omen possibly, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, like we said, some of these players can step up. So again, guys, thank you for joining me. Again, after I'm done with this video, in the comment section, be sure to put BB, B-E-E-B-E. -E -E. Just because we weren't expecting to do this video, just because it's breaking news, doesn't mean you still can't get a uh, an entry into that Don BB signed Buffalo Bills jersey. So we have Tyler Croft, Levi Wallace, and Dean Marlowe also, again, due to close contact out for tomorrow's game. But again, hopefully the Bills can still pull it out and win this game, get ready for their bye week, and hopefully they get everything under control. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.